How you doing? Yep. Yo, you just test to see if your hold was working, eh? Yeah. So what's been going on? Well, not a whole lot. I just I'm thinking like it's almost we're almost out of daylight right now, or I would start to I would head over there right now. But pick up uh, poles and shit. Yeah, to pick up the wood. See, like this is why I come up with that design, right? The three sticks into one, because you know you can get three smaller sticks that are pretty good without knots in them, right? It's a lot harder to find one big gigantic one no. no knots it's so hard chris to find anything over six feet anything over six feet without a knot is next to impossible actually five feet anything over five feet without a knot is next to impossible like you're going to look at at least at least a thousand yew trees but i'm not out to make you know the special bow of the year like i was doing before like and i'm not going to sit down to and waste my time with this i'm going to cut the wood pick out all the quality the best quality stuff there is I'll arrange it into, like I usually do, I arrange the pieces around to see how they look, you know, because some pieces are pretty close to being the right shape and you only got to steam them a little bit. Or I can pretty much get away with doing any kind of bending, anything I need to do, I can do right on my kitchen stove. Careful. Oh, yeah, I'll be careful. You don't want to end up hesitant. No, no. got to be you got to be careful with that. You're right, but I'll be, I'll be all right. I mean, the other thing, I was cooking eggs and I went back to sleep. I, I was stupid. I shouldn't have closed my eyes. I thought, oh, I'll just close my eyes for five minutes. So you got up out of bed at 3 in the morning, turned the stove on with eggs, and then went back to bed? No. I got up. It was about, I was just getting ready for bed, but I was hungry. My mom had stopped into town late, and she brought me eggs and brought me a bunch of stuff. I thought, I'm going to make a bunch of hard-boiled eggs. You know, I love hard-boiled eggs. You don't have to do anything. You just got to peel them. So I'm thinking, oh, right on. I'll make a couple dozen eggs, two dozen worth of eggs into a big pot, filled it up with water. I thought, this thing's teeming with water. That won't be a problem. Even if I close my eyes and make a mistake, I'll, I'll wake up in time. No worries. All the water had boiled out, and the smoke was so thick you couldn't even see. Like, my bedroom had no smoke, just a little tinge of smoke, because the door's closed. <laughs> but I knew right away I had to grab the animals and get them out. So I, I gathered them all up in a bag and put them over at the neighbor's house. And I went back into I went back into the burning building blind. I picked up the pot that had the eggs in it, and I mean, this thing just rank. Like, you can still smell it in my apartment. I fucking couldn't see where I was going, and I banged into the table. I banged into the table, shoving that pot right into my gut. Oh. Red hot. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> now I'm mad. Hey, I'm real mad. You know, you got that taste in your mouth from all the burnt eggs, and you can smell the shit in the air, and it can't breathe. And I got a burn on me. Now I'm real pissed off. I got a burn on me. My snakes are next door. My rat's next door. The neighbor's. You weren't careful, then, were you? No, no, I gotta be careful. Gotta be very careful. I'll never do that again. I'm on this medication, like I explained to you, eh? Like, it really takes away my funny, funniness and my spontaneousness. I almost felt like I could have done some funny skits there today, you know? Like, I was almost feeling like myself. It, uh, it was good to hear from you, and I mean, I'm really looking forward to this, because we can make a lot of money. I mean, a lot. Just shitloads, eh? Like, we could really make a lot of money. It'd be, it would just be something else to do, and it would just be, people wouldn't be able to say a damn thing about that. They'd say, well, the guy makes bows, he makes weapons. You know, they're ceremonial, and, you know, that's neither here nor there, but, you know, like, I'm some serious, because, like, the only thing that would stop us from making money would be if I was totally, to be totally lazy all the time. And I'm only like that 50% of the time now. Literally, this could be the uh, like the most money that we we've been able we could been able to make in the last five years. This this is seriously only thing stopping me from being able to make more. The only thing that would stop us from making a fortune, and I mean a literal, legitimate fortune, would be a couple of things where I get the wood from. The first time it won't really matter. It's only going to matter when they see how much these things sell for, and when some of our haters find out. Okay. You know, they want to give everything away for nothing anyway, right? And then what we do is we have a shoot-off out at your place, and, you know, we make a bid. We make bids on them. Make I'll make some them. decent ones. I'll put some together that are functioning that, that will just fire an arrow like scary, but cheap yeah. enough that I can sell them for 150 bucks because, we, you know, our friends aren't going to want to pay any more than 150 bucks for a bull. Yeah, I don't think they'll pay that much. You know, I'm thinking like maybe 50 I'm thinking that, you know because what? Because it's more more ceremonial than, uh, you know, they're not going to go hunting with it. They're, they want it because the ninja made it. They love the movies. They love the ninja. That sort of thing rather than, you if know. If we brought the, the price up to 60 bucks, I could probably make them so that they worked good, they looked good, and they didn't. I could, you know what I mean? I could do things to get away with. seventy nine ninety five. Yeah, like 70 bucks, literally 70 bucks. And if somebody goes, oh, well, you know, I, I'll give you, I, oh, I'll give you 50. 
you're like, well, you know, if that's the best you can do, then here, have yourself a nice bow. Let somebody else see that. And then be like, but, you know, sometimes we like to auction them off and, we, you know, we donate to this. We'll, we'll donate to a charity. We really will. We'll make a thing out of it. And then it'll be like a once-a-month thing. It could turn into a once-a-month thing where I come up with different bows every month. You know, like your imagination's the limit, right? Yeah. Like literally, you could make a story up that the ninja went back in time in one of his dreams and he followed some of these ancient warriors and they said that building a bow like that would get a, would get more power out of a piece of wood, basically. So just use some knowledge in, in your modern time. It was like a peace experience, and I just I was with them, and then I was I was back, and I had an idea for a bow. And they'll believe it, but I did have a dream about it, Chris, actually, where they were stringing these things up, and it was I couldn't really see how it was designed a certain way, and I've almost got the design the way I've seen it in the dream, and I wonder if I just imagined it. Just sit there and imagine for a little while, right, buddy? Just imagine the the dreaming. I just dreamt this guy make this bow out of my imagination. Like, how would it even know it was going to work? Like, you know, mm-hmm. how would I know that was going to work? That the one bow doesn't jerk the other one a little too hard and send the arrow to, off kilter, right? Like, there is more to consider when you got three into one, because you only need to make one strong enough to like put it this way. If you got one of them sticks and it's putting out forty pounds of thrust, and you carve four that puts out forty, holy shit! Then you got a hundred pound bow. Scores. Well, I'm not bad with math, so we're just going to have to build it up. You'd be like, oh, I was kind of talking to the ninja. I don't know if he's losing it or not. He wants me to put a bunch of targets up, and he, he wants to start selling these bows that he makes. What we got to do, listen, we'll put a fucking tennis ball on the end of a stick, and we'll use those as bows and arrows, and we'll fucking, as people are racing around the track, we'll have fucking the ninja target practice and then actually shooting these guys, but it's just a tennis ball, right? You know, I know that, you know, what it scares me about that is some of these bows I make got so much power that it, when you when you go to let go of that tennis ball on the end, add that just enough extra weight that it causes that stick to snap in midair. I mean, this thing's put out serious power. I've seen them snap arrows in half, like in mid-flight. It'd be funny. That would be a good idea. What size shoes do you wear? Uh, I wear uh, eight and a half, nine. Well, uh, in the next couple of days, why don't you do some laundry, clean yourself up and shit or whatever? Yeah, right? yeah, I really, I've been letting... I'll give you, a, I'll give you an Inwood custom sweater too, and then you can have that shit. You know what I mean? Cool, I'll cool. Give you a new sweater and fucking, you know. But anyways, buddy, I'm gonna let you go. We gotta send this guy over a big jump. We're losing light fast. Yeah, I know, and you know, there's gonna be lots of people, Chris, that are gonna say shit like, "Fuck this guy, man. Fucking kill him." Man, I oh man, Dude, no, but put it this way, I stand to make so much money alive that it would just be stupid if I didn't start trying to do this, you know. And I'm gonna yeah, need we'll your help. Do we'll do it. It'll be awesome. Bring a few on the 28th. We'll show people. It'll be fun. We'll have a good time. Exactly. I got a thing for making tunnels. If you ever want to make a tunnel, get me. Fuck yeah, man. We'll make a tunnel big time. Under your property. That'd be fun to just make one. Like, you know, start at one end, make a tunnel. And there's people that know about my fame on the internet. Yeah. They don't know enough really about what, in, you know, what anything's about. But they know enough that when I was like, yo, uh, you know, I was thinking of making a line of bows because I got a lot of people that like, you know, that like me, that like the things I <laughs> stupid things I say, believe it or not, you can imagine. And they would want to own these bows. I know that. And he goes, oh, you're friggin' right they would. And he doesn't even know me. And this guy's like, uh, make sure that you come to me for that deal. He wanted me to set his store up with all this shit. Tell him to fuck off. We got a store already. But as soon as that happened, I went, what am I doing talking to this guy? You know what I need Listen, to... buddy, I got I to yeah. go. We're going out right now. So... Okay, okay. I'll, I'll keep in touch a few days or so.